Alright, so, uh, today I'm going to explain about these questions. Actually, this question, like, uh, one of the students actually sent these questions to me, and then I find out actually it's quite, I mean, it's quite difficult. It's for if this is the question for a modern math student, it's even not that easy if, if you're an MF student because the question itself actually sounds a little bit confused. But anyway, so I decided to make a short video for this student because this question, I guess, is uh, is one of the K KBAT questions because, yeah, nowadays they just love to give KBAT questions. So, yeah, let's have a look on this question. Uh, on the diagram 7, show, show a front view of the weight machines. In the form of the circle with the radius is 12 cm, the student already write 12 cm over there with the center O and supported at the sides of the cuboid. Alright, so you see a side of the cuboid and then the length of the shaded area is the size uh, of 30 cm. So basically, yeah, you actually you can easily know that uh, here is actually 30 cm. Alright, and, and then the height is 6 cm as stated here. Okay, so the maximum weights that can be capacity, the maximum weight that can be at capacity is 2.4 kg, is obviously, is right here. Alright, so it's written here. So when a chicken tight weights, so the skew show at the position A. I mean, when I put the chicken tight over here, actually, yeah, the skew actually show, show, okay, so you can actually see the skew actually show at the position A. That's mean, right now, one of our objective is we want to know from from the I, I will call here north from north here to the position A here I mean this line what is this angle right this is one of our, our objective over here because yeah if you see the question later the question basically first it asks you to find a mass of the the chicken tight so basically they want you to know about yeah, what is this reading? It's, it can be it can be like one uh one kg or it can be like like eight hundred grams, seven hundred grams. We do not know, we have to find out. And then the sec second thing we have to actually solve is ask you to find the area of the shaded region. So we will solve the first one first. So definitely he give you the six centimeter and thirty centimeter. I think you, you will need to use it. So okay, let's have a look on this part first. So I I will now my objective is actually to find the angle first. So what I will do is I will try because I know this radius is actually 12 cm. So I know here actually is 12. So that's mean from center to here, this is 12 as well. Okay, this I I mean from 0 to C actually is 12. Because we know here actually is 6. So if if I use green color, if I cut this one because the bottom is actually six right so i know here is another six if they are uh, is parallel to this line so that's mean let, let me use my black color green is very not obvious right so at least actually you should you should be able to see uh this uh this right angle triangle here because here is six so actually the top part is six so right now my objective is actually trying to find out uh what is uh this angle so ignore about this angle first. So yeah, we just need to find this angle. If I can find this angle, I use 180 minus this angle. Basically, I can easily get uh, the, the real angle we want to find here. So what I, will, what I will do is I will draw out this triangle. So yeah, I have 6. This is the angle. And then this is 12. Alright, we have the adjacent and we have the hypotenuse. We know what basically we can use cos. So I would say cos angle basically will equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So if you use the calculator, I mean you move to cos to the other side, it's half, and then you know the angle is 60 degree. If here is 60 degree, we can easily know that, I mean this angle will be 180 minus 60 degree, isn't it? So it will be 120. Okay, now you have the 120 already. So what you can do here is, I know the total circle, I mean total 360 degree here. I mean the 360 degree here. Let's say, let's say, let's say the angle on the between is 360 degree here. The maximum is 2.4 kg. So now my objective is something like, I trying to find one degree actually means how much. So what I will do is, I will change the two, 2.4 kg into gram because it's easier for me to do the division. So 2.4 kg basically equals to 2,400 gram. Alright, so I will just divide 360 degree because I want to know one degree actually means how many gram. 
So then I will use the calculator to solve this one. So yeah, 2400 zero zero divided by 360. So the calculator basically will tell me is basically equals to 20.3 gram. The, this one means what? This one means each degree, each degree actually means uh, 20.3 gram or, or you can say it's something like 6.6667 alright so it's actually 20.3 yeah actually you just simplify it alright so, right, so so what happens here is actually we can understand from the from the north here I'm, I mean from the 2.4 kg which is a zero here let me use back the black color from the zero here this is O to A we know total here is actually 120 degree and just now we find actually each degree actually each degree actually represents by by the 20 point 20 point 3 uh, 20 over 3 grams so what i will do is i will actually use 120 degree multiply 20 over 3 because this one actually stands for each degree that means if i simplify this one this is 40 multiplied 3 i actually get 800 gram that means the reading here is zero. When you rotate until OA here, the OA the, the OA here actually stands for eight hundred gram. Okay, so I can easily uh, using this method to uh, to easily get the uh, the mass of the chicken thigh, which is uh, three eight hundred gram, or you can say it's zero point eight kg. All right, so. Then what happened next is the basically the question asked me to find the area of the shaded region. So in order to find the area of shaded region, then I will go to the OB also. Then we draw a right angle triangle. And then you will find out, you will find out here is also 12, here is also 6. That means both of these triangle is the same thing. So just now we actually know that this angle equals 60. So here actually we have another 60 degree. So 60 degree and 60 degree, that means the whole sector here, let me use the green color to say the whole sector here, I mean, it's actually equals to 120 degrees. So if I draw it out whole sector here, so here is actually 60 plus 60, it will be 120 degree. So right now, I want to find the shaded region. So what I will do over here is, the first thing is I will, I will find a segment first. This means I will find this area, means I will find this area, which is a segment. And then I will use the area of rectangle, which is 6 multiplied 30, to minus the area of segment. Means to mi minus the red color part. Then I can easily get the correct answer. Right, so now my objective is to find this area. So in order to find this area, yeah, in order to find this area, yeah, if since this is math, so I'm going to use back the math formula. So we will use the area of sector. We will find the area of sector minus two triangle minus two triangle actually you will see you have two triangle so area of sector since you know this is 120 degree we will use the formula is 120 over 360 multiply pi pi we use 3.142 r which is 12 r square all right this is area of sector all right the formula is just angle over 360 multiply pi r square Okay, this is how we find area of sector. So yeah, we I just apply the formula over here, and then we we'll minus I will minus the triangle, because I want to get a, a area of segment. This one English that actually called segment. Alright, so this one a triangle, and then this triangle is exactly the same triangle with this one. So yeah, we we can actually get the base here using Pythagoras. So what I, what do I mean by Pythagoras? It means square root of twelve square minus six square. So, therefore, you just use the calculator to do this. 12 square minus 6 square. And then you square root it. You should be able to get the length over here is actually 10.39. Okay, so, yeah, it's cm. So, if you know the triangle, it's just half multiplied base multiplied height, right? So, therefore, this is half. The base is 10.39. And then the height is just 6. And then we have double of this triangle, right? So the whole thing, I will multiply 2. Alright, this is the basic idea, what I will do. So, yeah, therefore, I of course, I will simplify this one. This one basically is 1, this is 3. So I will say 1 over 3, multiply 3.142, multiply 12 square. 
and then I will get 150.816 alright minus 2 and half I simplified this one is just 6 multiply 10.39 so you basically you will get 62.34 so you just use the 150 to minus this one 150.816 to minus my answer just now so basically I can get the I mean the shaded area, I, I mean the area of segment here means the red color one is 88.476, I call 48 maybe, centimeter square. Alright, so now if I want to find an area, uh, shaded area as a part B, so I will use the, the whole rectangle, I will use the whole rectangle to minus my area of segment, which is in the red color part, which is this answer. Alright, so yeah, so this is a basic idea. And of course we know the rectangle is 60, I mean it's 30, sorry, 30 multiplied with 6. So if you multiply 6 multiplied 30 is 180 centimeters square. I minus the uh, area of segment which is 88.48 centimeters square. Then I can easily get the correct answer. So 180 minus my answer just now. So basically you can see I will get 91 boy. 5.2 cm square. Alright, this is how I find the area of shaded region because I use the area of rectangle and then I mi minus the area of segment. Alright, so yeah, I think that's all for this video. Yeah, this question actually means the information given you is not really a lot and, and, and you have to think a bit and then the question actually trying to confuse you like something like maximum weight is actually 2.4 kg yeah just now i thought is it possible to use something like differentiation in mf to do it and then and now actually it's not too difficult anyways i hope this short video actually can help you understand more about this topic so i will i will stop the screen recorder now and yeah if you have a, any questions please let me know then i will actually i will actually yeah trying to answer your question okay that's all for this video Thanks for watching. Ah, uh, thanks for watching.